From dust we came, and to dust we must return. O oh, precious one, you know what looms now, and so do I. For the final page is upon us, and thus all stories must. Mine now draws to a close, even though in real life it shall continue, as shall yours. Beyond this covers, and spin like gossamer through the thin air, dancing up and down and wither knows where. And what is left to say of myself? Not. Not, dear one. For you see before you a happy woman, who possesses all that the human heart could wish for, and more. For I have my cherished forever Fergus, the love of my life, and our dear Jossie, and Prince Hamish, with his chubby fist and ears splitting yell. And as I write, I am swelled up anew, this time with a set of twins, the first of many dozens of rowdy and undisciplined children we shall surely have. My love and I, in this bright shining place, that is neither past nor future, nor before nor beyond nor the back of beyond, but here and now, where love dwells, and you have to dwell the while, listening patiently to this tale in the time before we parted ways. And, oh, I shall miss you so, sweet companion, so loyal and true. And how beautiful you are today, how sweetly flushed your cheek. But now, let us blow a kiss. And as each of us disappears further into the distance, wave our handkerchiefs to one another. A wipe away that tear, Lottie McCrombie. You sentimental fool. From a story which began with real dust, it is to fairy dust that I return, bidding you a fond and tender farewell with a smile on my lips and a song in my heart, wishing you and those you love a life as joyous as the one I am planning for myself. But, but last of all, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear one, for stealing time to spend with me. For you know in your heart do you not that my story, for all its apparent unlikeliness, is true? Just as fairy tale is true. And if its listener wishes it so to be, and was it not worth it that you did? Ah, the power of the heart, beloved reader. The power of the heart. Oh, say yes.